and we just couldn't be happier. So, Mac OS X Leopard. And we hope you love it as much as we do. So, there you have it. But, there is one more little thing. Since we're all here today, there's one other thing we wanted to tell you about that we think you might like. One of the things we didn't have a chance to talk about so far is Safari. You know that Safari has been a wonderful success. There are now over 18 million Safari users. And if you look at Safari's market share, it has climbed from zero when we introduced it a few years ago to 5% across the entire internet. Now, if you look at the whole world of browsers, Internet Explorer's market share is about 78%. Firefox is about 15 Safari is 5 And other browsers are about 2 Well, we dream big. We would love for Safari's market share to grow substantially. That's what we'd love. Um, but how are we going to do that? Well, the Mac's market share is growing, and this is great. But we want to grow maybe even in addition to that. And to do that, we're going to have to create a version of Safari that runs on Windows. We have a little bit of expertise in doing that because of iTunes. And that's exactly what we have done. We now have Safari, the latest and greatest version, Safari 3 running on Leopard. Safari 3 now runs on XP and Vista as well. They exist today. How do they work? Well, one of the most important things, of course, we're bringing all of the Safari innovations over to Windows because it is the best browser in the world, but what about speed? How does it measure up? How good are we at bringing apps to Windows? Well, let's take a look. iBench, most respected browser benchmarks there are publicly available. Let's take a look at HTML performance on Windows XP. Three browsers, Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Safari, all running on the same machine, same Windows XP. How do they do in these tests? Obviously, faster is better. To run through the iBench HTML performance suite, 4.6 seconds on Internet Explorer, Firefox 3.7, Safari 2.2, over twice as fast as IE. Let's take a look at JavaScript, another very important thing. Internet Explorer to run the iBench JavaScript suite, 2.4 seconds. Firefox, 1.6, Safari under a second. So what we've got here is the most innovative browser in the world, but we've also got the fastest browser on Windows, twice as fast as IE. 1.6 1.6 times faster than Firefox 2. Google and Yahoo search built in. It is the same technology as Safari on Leopard. And I would love to show this to you now. So I'm obviously going to have to change computers here. This is odd. So let me go ahead and launch Safari out of the Start menu. And here it is right now. This is Safari, and I can go to websites. I can go to Yahoo here. I can go to the New York Times, MSN, ESPN. You know, very, very simple. And uh, we've got uh, a new tab feature uh, that's in all versions of Safari 3, where I've got tabs here. times. And I can drag tabs around, right? which is kind of nice. Uh, the other thing I can do is I can just drag them off and put them in their own window, which is kind of nice. Uh, but what I really want to show you, actually, is I want to show you uh, the iBench speed test shootout. And uh, so to do that, um, let's see. I'm going to go back in here, and I've got the iBench shootout. 
And uh, this is going to run through the iBench scripts three times, just so you can see it, because if it runs through it once, it's pretty fast. Safari on the left, IE7 on the right. So here we go. And three, two, one, and let's start the tests. And it just loads a ton of websites. Again, Safari on the left, IE7 on the right. 6.64 seconds for Safari on Windows. 13.56 seconds for IE7 on Windows. There you have it. So Safari is the fastest browser on Windows. Again, as you can see, you can run these tests yourself. Anyone can and verify this. But how are we going to distribute this? I mean, we don't really talk to these customers, do we? You know, there are 500,000 downloads of Firefox a day. What are we going to do? Well, it turns out there's over a million downloads of iTunes a day. As a matter of fact, there have been over a half a billion downloads of iTunes to Windows machines. Over half a billion. And so we know how to reach these customers. And we're going to do exactly that. So there are three different versions of Safari 3. One that runs on Leopard, one that runs on XP, and Vista. And we are releasing them to you today as a public beta on Leopard. It's in your developer preview. We are also releasing today a public beta that runs on both Windows, Windows and Tiger. Since nobody outside of the developer conference gets Leopard, we're going to release it on Tiger and on Windows today. It's a free beta. Apple.com slash Safari. You can go get it today. And who knows, maybe we can grow our Safari share in the future. We're going to go try. So that's Safari on Windows. We hope you like it. <laughs>